in the middle. It looks like there's something there, but it's just a lawn tractor tire. A little happy accident that those lined up when I looked through to film it. But uh, there's nothing there. There's no pin or axle bolt, which makes it a challenge to balance the thing. Let's talk about that. So this is how the tire goes in and out. It's really super easy when you look at it. You're like, man, it's going to be no problem. You just take the wheel bolts. They don't have lug nuts. It's more like a BMW car with these. It's a T50, by the way. But when you go to pull them out, you're like, oh, perfect. But then you can't get it off unless you take off the side panniers and unbolt the exhaust clamp and unbolt the exhaust and kind of move and twist this out of the way. But then you can get it in. And I didn't, I don't think I showed, but this is what the wheel looks like. This is the big old hole. And it's got one inner diameter on this side. And then it's got three inner diameters on this side. You got this one, this one here, and then that one there. Yeah, try running something through that that's gonna work. Fortunately, I had the brake lathe piece. Let's show you the brake drum adapter that I used in this from the brake lathe. See, there's this tapered section here, this tapered section here, and then this flat that just happens to be there. Just by some random occurrence, it fit. And then there's the throw out bearings. They're basically like this, it's just like a needle bearing. See? And the part number, if you wanted that, is Sierra Charlie Echo 129 Papa. This always goes to the bottom, and that's typically the heaviest part, is where you have rubber in addition to aluminum. Rubber weighs more than aluminum. So that one spun past, so I'll do the same thing. I'll start it about right here, and just let it go, and see what it does on the other side. It's gonna be a really tedious process. But basically, if this is the heaviest point, and it swung past and stuck here, I've got a little bit of resistance, but I mean, I'm using a ski pole for crying out loud. But there you go, it went just past a little bit on that side. So I should add some weight on the exact opposite. So I'll put some weight right here. This is, in fact, a most expected outcome. Uh, when tires are manufactured, the lightest part of the tire is marked with one of several different markings. It could be a little yellow circle, it could be two red dots, it could be a yellow band, or even a yellow dot or a red dot to indicate that it's the lightest part of the tire. Knowing this, you can mount the tire with a mark right next to the valve stem, and oftentimes they'll balance each other out to where you don't have to do much balancing at all. That is, of course, unless you plan on using some big dice or grenade-shaped valve cap. This Avon tire is actually a pretty good tire. This is the 3D Ultra. It's a sport bike tire. It's Z-rated and should be awesome. And like I say, they're pretty good about having them be balanced, but you have to add a little sticker weight. So you clean the surface with uh, brake cleaner. So, so this wheel's never been so clean. Uh, but anyway, you just stick the weight on there, spin it again, and just keep adding weight um, above where it stops. And if it doesn't stop in the same place and it becomes random, then you're in balance. So I've spun this wheel several times. This is ironic because it lands in the initial spot this time. But this uh, valve stem is stopped here, 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 where it is now and everywhere else. But the point is, is that we're fully random. And with things that are random, you're gonna get some stuff that looks funny. The other thing is, is that when we stop, it doesn't reverse direction anymore. When it stops, it just stays stopped. Slightly started to reverse a little bit, but the bearing has to be considered. The point is, is going down the highway, this isn't going to hop and bounce and shake. Pretty good. It's thinking about it and that's it so anyway if the tire can move that slow and you're random I think you got a pretty good setup so the way I did this tire is the way I've done other ones I'll put links to my other tire videos in the description but I just did it like a dirt bike truck tire but being careful I use baby powder as a lubricant that seems to work ridiculously good and then to remove the valve stem, I just use a four-way tool. It's got a little valve stem remover on it. You do that and you're just going to be okay. So here's a close-up of what the hub and stuff looks like. You just have to get it onto the hub just like it's a BMW car. 
This thing's more car than motorcycle. It happens to have two wheels, but everything else is pretty much just like a car. You just have to just line the bolt holes up like this and then start your wheel bolts in. My old tire, if you look at it, you can see that it's got a hard edge on each side. So one of the ways that the new tire shines is that when I roll over, there's not a bump. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like and subscribe. Bonus footage at the end. That's a little bit harsh. I've had better fun flight though.